been smooth sailing so far. The cameras are down, and there's barely any security. Let's hope it stays that way until we reach Yoshiki. Still, what a bombshell that Yuki-san was married to Yoshiki, right? Um, about that, doesn't that mean Yuki-san is... Yes. As I'm sure you've all gathered, I am fairly certain she's my mother. I guess you were just being considerate for my sake then. Sorry, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. That being said, I suppose she's more like an illusion of my mother than my mind created. I don't remember what my mother looked like. I don't know if that's her actual personality either. An illusion, huh? So, a vestige of your mother still lingers in a fragment of your memory? I'm not sure it's that poetic. Especially considering that I don't know what my real mother thought of me. What do you mean? It's possible my mother may have resented me. Really? As I've said before, I was raised under the strict discipline of my father. My mother was in and out of the hospital due to her illness, so I wasn't able to see much of her. But when I did get to see her, it filled me with joy like nothing else. Gradually, her illness grew worse. Watching her grow weaker by the day was a terrible shock. And my father became even stricter, rarely letting me go visit her. That's too cruel! It was around that time in my childhood when I hatched a plan. I would sneak my mother out of her hospital room and take her to the amusement park. She had always wanted to go outside with me, so I worked up the courage to carry out my plan. That was the first time I ever rebelled against my father. You finally rebelled? That must have made her happy, right? By the time we reached the park, my mother was beaming. It was just a small place on the roof of a department store. Though our trip was brief, I was grateful I had worked up the courage to take her after seeing how happy she looked. But on her way home, suddenly collapsed. I'm not sure what happened after that. A lot of adults came. I only remember crying the whole time. Not long after, my mother passed away. I see. But, but that wasn't your fault! At least not directly! That's what the doctors said. But my father still blamed me for it. He said my mother died because I selfishly disobeyed him, and she would always resent me for it, even from beyond the grave. He placed his own guilt on you. No one will ever know why your mother's time came. Yes, but despite knowing that, I'm still afraid. I dread my worst fears being confirmed when I ask Yuki... No, when I ask my mother for the truth. Oh, I'm ready to fight my father. It's a separate matter. For some reason, I can't stop this wishful thinking that she'll be kind to me. All right, I've digressed enough. For now, let's just press on and do what needs to be done. <sighs> Yoshiki should be just past here. Is everyone ready? troubled for a while now. There's something wrong. Oh, oh, no, it's just... So, um, you know how we were just talking about your mom? Well, if we assume Yuki-san was created from how you see your mom in your heart, then if you really believe she resented you, Yuki-san should resent you too, right? <sighs> but Yuki-san didn't give me that impression. So, um, I guess what I'm saying is... I don't think your mom resents you. That's all. She doesn't? A and that's not the kind of thing moms resent their kids for. How do I put this? That's just how it is. I'm sure of it. Although I'm also unsure about what mothers are like, I'd like to think I have some understanding of a mother's love. Regardless of how things turned out. I doubt she would bear a grudge for being able to spend time with her son. Hmm. Well, this 
This is still merely conjecture in the end. But on the other hand, hearing you all say it makes me wonder if you might be right. Yes, I will. It's the best way for me to be true to my parents. And to all of you. Well, there you have it. We'll be rooting for you, you know. Thank you all for helping me. I'll settle things with my father and my mother, too. That's a promise. All right, then let's go win this thing. The criminals come to offer their own heads. Mother. Oh, oh, oh. Either way, I'm quite astounded you made it this far. Toshiro, his little band of miscreants, and the stray cat. You are you calling a stray cat? <laughs> Enjoy your high horse while you can, because you're on borrowed time, pal. Oh, as if you have room to speak, you're the criminals here. What was that? Just take a look. My nation is in shambles because of you all. Come and shoot us and play like the cameras. Enough is enough. Let everyone go. What the hell? Where did all these rebels come from? Our eyes have been opened. Lord Yoshiki. No. Yoshiki's methods are wrong. How dare you? Lord Yoshiki demands respect. You want to be cut down? Go ahead and try us. We'll show you. We're not messing around. Who's by me? This is when you give in temptation. You realize my people were living in peace until you cast them into the throes of chaos. What do you hope to accomplish committing these atrocities? You really shouldn't make me repeat myself. You're the ones committing the heinous crimes here. It's my duty to set you back on the righteous path. <laughs> now, Toshiro, Come to me, my son. Allow my love to guide you to greatness. With the eyes of love that only I can see through. I won't. As your son, I came here to stop you. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Just splendid! You picked up some hilarious jokes during your little exploits, haven't you? his limits. Sinner! You murder your mother, and now you betray your father! Although, you might be right that I'm a sinner. That's exactly why I have to stop you, father. Oh, 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 oh. ludicrous! How utterly ludicrous! You let these dudes control you into bearing your fangs to your own father, you lowlife! I'll shut that impertinent mouth of yours and take my time teaching you your lesson. Oh, here he comes. Heads up, everyone.
do here?
do my best.
do my best.
fight. Here I go. Stay calm. I'll show no mercy. I can still fight.
over! I'll do my best. I'll show no mercy. Lay it on him, Joker! Better to take 
tragedy, you heartless fiends! A revolution? Ha! Don't make me laugh! You took up a cause that suited your purposes. Never considered who would suffer for it. And now you've fed the flames of a tragic war! Do you truly call this justice? Yeah. of yours. You're only doing this to feel the high of self-righteousness. Oh, that's how you see my actions, is it? Are you suggesting that you're willing to take responsibility for throwing this country into chaos? Admit it. You never even considered the fate of the citizens you claim to represent. Still, this'll end better than if we left a tyrant like you to torture these people forever. That's only true in your puny little mind, girl. Face reality for once. See them if they please! Get those fires going! Hold your ground! Keep your weapons up! We'll fight them as long as we live! Stop resisting! You want to get cut down? For the sake of your argument, let's say I truly were an egotistical ruler. The people went about their lives, and they were content, were they not? But you ingrates, you ingrates ruined the entire nation. Fools, truly, the work of fools. If this isn't a boss, I don't know the meaning of the word. Huh? I ruined the nation? Don't listen to him, Toshiro! Just remember why we're here! Yes! He's merely weaving his web of lies! Remain firm in your conviction! <laughs> Toshiro, my boy, you remember that day, don't you? You spurned my love and rebelled against me, selfishly demanding your mother to No! Stop! You killed your own mother. All because you had to have your stupid, bleeding wish. What sort of monster kills their own mother? One can scarcely imagine the betrayal she must have felt. No, I... I just... That's enough, Yoshiki. I won't tolerate any more of this slander. Well, well, isn't this delightful? But say we move on to the final act of this bar, say. Die, Toshiro! And you see your pathetic revolution is now! <laughs> I knew it! How delightful! <sighs> Yuki! No. Please stay with me. Now do you see, Toshiro? This is the result of your so-called revolution. You've killed your mother yet again. 
with your asinine idealism. Well then, I'll keep you in my heart. <laughs> There he goes, that bastard. Hey, more importantly, Yuki-san is... Please don't leave me. There's still so much I want to say. Mother! Oh, Shiro. I had a feeling you are my son. Please forgive me. Once again, it's all my fault. Oh, Toshiro. This was never your fault. Please, just try to remember. Then you'll know how much I loved you. <gasps> Is this Toshiro's memory? Come on, Mom, this way! Let's write that one next! <laughs> You're quite energetic today, aren't you, Toshiro? Side so I could protect you. Thank you, Toshiro. You're my trusty little knight. I, I haven't been outside for a while, so let's take it slow for now, okay? Oh, sorry. Hey, Mom, are you sure you aren't mad that I brought you here? <laughs> of course not. Nothing makes me happier than being able to spend time with you like this, Toshiro. Operation Super Sneaky Escape was a big success, wasn't it? <laughs> Did you have to give it such a weird name? You know, Toshiro, it was thanks to your courage that I was able to come here today. What do you mean? Because you worked up the nerve to take me here, I was able to spend such a pleasant day with you. Toshiro, can you do something for me? Okay, but what? From now on, never be afraid of doing what you think is right. Having the courage to stand up for someone is something you should cherish. Please, never regret it. Promise me, Toshiro. Okay, I promise. Let's make it a pinky swear. Pinky, pinky promise. That I'll never lie. Cross my heart and hope to die. Swear. That's right. Back then, I promised her. Because you gathered your courage to do something, this country was able to change. We were able to speak like this again, because you let me fight by your side. So, don't regret taking a stand. Be proud. Mother, was I able to keep our promise? Of course you did. But Toshiro... Please. Yes, I know. I won't regret my courage that day. My sweet boy, I will always be with you. Toshiro? The flag. Hmm? We need to present the flag. To let them know it's all over. It's like with Marie. The people are worried about how this is going. Toshiro. Please don't worry about me. I haven't forgotten. 
In the end, she was nothing more than a memory. Uh, but that's your mom! Oracle. It's okay. For a brief time, my memories brought my mother back to me. And she was gone again. That... That's all it was. Right? Oshiro. Why do you lie to yourself? You said it. Okay, let's go wave the flag like Toshiro said. Yes. We ought to share the good news face to face. Sure, I've got it. Listen up, everyone! Yoshiki has been defeated! The one who plunged this country into darkness is no more! Hold your heads high! The time has come to step into a brighter future! It's because all of you took a stand that we are victorious here today! We won! now, huh? So it seems a number of people were injured as well. It seems we hadn't received the full picture until just now. Frankly, I'm at a loss for words now that I see it in person. I knew this was coming, but I guess things ain't as easy as kicking Yoshiki's ass and calling it a wrap. <sighs> yeah. Well, at least we won, right? We sure did, ma'am! Yes. There were casualties. Even Lady Yuki was. But, but still, taking a stand definitely wasn't a mistake! Really? Wait a sec, what's that sound? Uh, there you are! Come on, everyone! They're over here! Huh? Whoa! We've got some kind of stampede headed our way! Oh, thank goodness! We made it in time! We're surrounded for a second time! We just had to tell you how very grateful we are to all of you for opening up our eyes! No, we really didn't do much. On the contrary, seeing the town and all its people like this is... And, um, uh, Yuki was also... Yes. We only saw bits and pieces of the fight. But we know what happened. Even so, to regret what we did would be to deny Lady Yuki's wishes. Lady Yuki told us before we came here. She said no matter what happened, not to have any regrets. That's why we don't feel like what we did was a mistake. We'll carry on Lady Yuki's wishes and live on. We won't lie to ourselves anymore. We're going to live on with our own eyes and free will. How much longer are you gonna keep moping around? You're going to make Lady Yuki sad! Snap out of it! When was I moping? You guys... I'm sure everything will be alright. Just hold on to that courage of yours. Yes, ma'am! Well then, we should get back to the town's reconstruction. Alright, everyone, let's get to it! <laughs> it seems they don't have a moment to waste. Agreed. In fact, we should get going too, yeah? Sorry, but before we go, I'd like to show you all my appreciation. My father and my mother. I was only able to face them because you guys gave me a push. So I should thank you for that. Oh, I'm just voicing my appreciation for you all. It's a little embarrassing, but please accept it. You don't have to. I'd also like to express a special thanks to you, Futaba. Your words resonated with me especially. Oh? Okay. Thinking of my mother has always been painful. But it's time I faced history head on. Truth may be different than what I saw here. But I've decided to stop running from my memories. Well, I think that sounds great. It's important not to run from those things, you know? You've got my support. 
You've really learned to talk the talk, haven't you, Pops? <laughs> Even an old-timer like me knows how to get real. All right, I think it's time we head out. Do we know where the door is yet? Oh, right! Yeah, the door is over there. Do you think we'll actually go home this time? Hmm, based on the pattern we've seen so far, I wouldn't get my hopes up. We won't know until we try it, though, right? Let's go! Listen, we have no idea what's on the other side. Everyone be real careful, got it? Okay, let's move out, Joker. Joker.